Hey guys, yeah, so yeah, I'm Kedar. I'm Ravi. And we are Simility. So we provide enterprise uh, fraud management solution end-to-end. Uh, -end. Um, instead of slides, we'll just directly jump into the demo, and that'll be kind of uh, talking more about what we do. Um, so, um, uh, so go into the Entity Explorer. Um, so yeah, so I, what we do is we, we help enterprise manage uh, fraud and detect fraud by taking in data streams uh, uh, from different backends, uh, from devices, and so on. Uh, so here is an example of, of kind of uh, streams that we are looking into. Uh, so you have uh, a login event uh, for, for users coming in. You have a sign-up event. Uh, you have a transfer event, a money transfer event, or a call center event. So all of this data is, is, is coming in. Um, we use our, our algorithms, anomaly detection, and all of that to really identify uh, which events are suspicious, which are uh, fraudulent, and then respond back with a decision saying this is this is uh, that's something that is wrong, and we tell you the details around why uh, something is wrong. On the back end, again, we are uh, fairly schemaless, so you can keep adding new streams that are uh, relevant for you. Um, but let's jump in under the hood into. Um, what's really going on. So let's say you have uh, a wire transfer stream that is, uh, that is flowing through the system. Uh, we are monitoring that and we are kind of telling you this, this event is good, this event is bad, and so on. Um, but you can always set up your workflow to be either 100% autom automated, um, or we also provide you with this workbench where you can actually set up a manual intervention where certain alerts go into the queue. Uh, so this is a case of, of uh, as I said, wire transfer. Uh, we see some of the top cases there. Uh, we look at one of the cases um, in the queue. Um, so you, you uh, underline we are we have a, a, a graph database uh, on top of Cassandra. So we kind of link things together. So here is a, a, a transfer event which is coming from a particular user, uh, from a particular device, from a um, particular IP, and and and, and so on. Um, and on the right-hand side, you can see why this particular transaction was uh, labeled as fraudulent. Um, and these are, this is where Simility's micro model kick in. Uh, so you can see um, you know, tons of transactions coming from the same device. So that's a micro model that we analyze devices, we cluster them, uh, we do device fingerprinting, device analytics, uh, and all of that. And we realize that this transaction is coming from a user who is using a device which is associated with tons of other users and, and so on. Um, you can expand the cluster and see that, hey, there are a there are, uh, um, few more devices that are connected. And then you can further expand those devices and see that uh, those devices are actually being used by a few other users. Uh, so things like that, we can, we can analyze in that network what's, what's wrong. Um, going into uh, beyond devices, and de we go into more of device analytics. Uh, so we can do in-session monitoring. Um, so that's another um, model of ours that got triggered. Uh, so you can see what the user has done in this session. Uh, the user logged in on the front end. That went through cleanly. Uh, then the user resetted the password. That went through cleanly. Uh, updated the email, added a new beneficiary. Uh, did the transfer and logged out. Uh, and all of that in a matter of 18 minutes, that seems suspicious. Uh, so we do a lot of uh, algorithms on top of these even streams that are going on. Um, then we analyze um, things like user behavior around time spent on the session. Right? So uh, we track how this session uh, is behaving compared to the user has done in the past. That's the anomaly. Uh, and we also track how this session is behaving compared to all the users in the network, which is expected. So that's an example of an anomaly, anomaly detection. A simple example is time spent on the page. And yeah. we have hundreds of these uh, features that run in background to analyze not only the user behavior, but the event stream that is happening in context of, of uh, a larger data set. Yeah. Um, another example is uh, the mouse movement pattern. Uh, again. Historically in the past, this is a mouse movement on a raster. Uh, the user has doodle. This is the user doodle behavior. In this session, it's a straight line, probably a bot, uh, and so on. Um, so you can, you, know, you can start thinking about uh, any event and analyzing all of these moving pieces. Uh, another example is location tracking. We, we understand how this user and this device has moved. Uh, uh, where did they log in from? Where do they sign up from? Is this this person's home? Is this this person's office, 9 to 5, office, 
nine to or six to nine home and so on. And if something is happening beyond that location, what's what's going on? Um, so that's part of, of device, um, and the event stream could be not just device, it could be any backend stream that, that we are getting. Um, other example is, is IP subnet uh, that was bad, the user that came from an IP, uh, that subnet was blacklisted from some other customers of, of ours. So we do a lot of network-based uh, analysis to see you know, if something is bad on one network uh, using that information. Other example is telephone number. So we do third-party lookups uh, on any specific data point that is coming in the event stream. Uh, and we understand these key concepts, uh, things like email, telephone number, addresses. Um, and we do a lot of third-party lookups to really understand and triangulate. Uh, so this example, the telephone number uh, does not belong to the user email that we got from the third party, and then that doesn't resolve. So those, those got, got triggered. Um, on top of that, again, you have this workbench where you can take decisions, you can label things, you can escalate things. So all of that gets, gets fed into the system. Uh, and then you know, the models that we are running, um, ML models, utilize uh, this information to, to fine tune uh, respective uh, micro models and so on. Um, going a little bit under the hood, um, it, so all of our data stream or data processing, uh, we, we call it as a fraud pipeline. So even streams are coming in. Uh, we are joining in your backend data streams, uh, the user behavior from the front end, uh, performing a bunch of uh, transforms on that data, applying our ML models on top of that, and then coming up with decisions. What's, what's so nice about Simulity Platform is, is you get a, a standard platform on day one but it's extremely extensible where you can plug in a new transform, you can plug in a new feature, you can add a third party API and say, hey, in my uh, wire fraud module, uh, run these four signals, uh, run these three machine learning models, um, add this new transform, which I'm going to create on top of it, and that becomes your model. Again, we, we give you, as part of the product, a standard module, but over time, uh, based on how your business is working, we fine tune that pipeline catered for your business. Uh, and if, if tomorrow you want to add a new uh, even stream, uh, which is, let's say, your, uh, your only channel and you want to start up a call center and that's a new even stream coming in, that stream kind of merges with uh, the existing data set and then you can have a new pipeline for call center events as, as well. Um, so that kind of... Uh, talks to you about, about the pipeline and so on. But under the hood, again, we don't have a lot of time to cover the product in detail. But you can see you have custom, um, custom signals, ability to hook in your own transforms of fraud. We provide you with library of hundreds of transforms from you know, things like velocity, spikes, anomalies. Um, and it could be on any data set, um, you know, whether it is a, a um, uh, amount, transaction time, um, you know, emails, addresses, and, and we apply those. Uh, but if you want to add your new, um, you know, this is an example of a repeat ratio where um, you're looking at, at typing where someone is typing G, 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 or L, 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 L. Uh, so you can create your own transforms on the fly, and all of that is kind of nicely, seamlessly integrated within the product, product itself. Um, other areas is, again, we, our, our core is, is machine learning models that we apply for, for specific workflows. But you have the ability to add in, you know, we are backward compatible with people adding in rules. Uh, so uh, rules are really useful for someone to have a manual override and say, hey, create this new, new rule, which is tracking certain aspects of, of your flow. And then, uh, again, a very standard drag and drop uh, capability to adding new rules. Um, because we are graph based, you can actually uh, express a rule which says flag a user if the IP, if the device IP that the user is coming for is engaged in 20 other transactions in the past. So you can actually think of a graph based, uh, graph based expression of your rule, which is uh, in, in database terms, it's a crazy join. Uh, so this, this makes it very easy for you to express really complex. Uh, uh, rules that are very fraud centric. Um, so that's kind of in the product in the nutshell. We'll uh, 
you know, we'll kind of go over the summary. There's lots to cover in the product. We'll be happy to go uh, and, and, you know, talk to you in person in our booth. Uh, but I'll summarize what our, you know, the why aspect or what we really solve. Uh, so first is, is we provide really deep fraud intelligence. So what that means is uh, on day one, you get standard modules that are relevant for fintech banks and, and so on. So new account origination, uh, account takeover, uh, transaction fraud, uh, money transfers, uh, AML, payment, uh, and you name it. Uh, so you are set with day one with, with having the protection on these workflows. Uh, nothing stops you from adding new modules, and we'll, we'll help you add new modules in our, our platform uh, as well, or, or retuning it and fine-tuning those modules that are really catered for your business. Uh, a bank in, uh, in Latvia is going to be very different from a bank in, in London and so on. So we, we work really well in customizing our platform to suit your, your data flow. Uh, we have rich set of libraries, which means we come up with, we have standard set of features. Uh, take an example of address alone. You can think of hundreds of features just on address, uh, email, and so on. So we give uh, a rich set of libraries that is very fraud focused. Uh, and those are leveraged across customers. Those are le leveraged across verticals. Um, our core offering in being really solid on ML models, so supervised, unsupervised learning, all of them come out of the box. Uh, time series analysis, uh, event based analysis, biometric on devices, uh, behavior of users. Uh, you know, I'm a person who transfers money uh, first of every month to Singapore for whatever reason. I learned that, and if I don't transfer the money, or if I you know, transfer the money somewhere else, it kind of understands my behavior, which is very catered to a very personalized. Uh, and, and feature engineering is provided out of the box, so you don't have to take data out of our system, do analysis, and come back. Uh, so data feature engineering and pipeline building uh, is part of the product where you can really do it seamlessly. Um, Data streams and data lakes, that's the other aspect, uh, as we sh mentioned before, is, is we take in events from any backend, uh, any format. It's schema-less. Um, uh, it could be structured. So standard structured data set is already available. When you say, I want a new account, here is the standard structure. But you can send in any ad hoc uh, event streams uh, which do not comply. And we learn, we learn that event stream on the, on the fly. So we understand that this is email. Let's apply something which is relevant for, for email. Um, we do streaming and batches. So real-time engine uh, response in matter of milliseconds, 20 milliseconds, 30 milliseconds, you'll, we'll, you'll get a response. Uh, but we also do batches. So end of the day, bulk, that also can go through the system. Uh, synchronous versus asynchronous, both are supported. So you can keep sending synchronous, um, which is tell me a decision now, or here is the data, um, part of the data now, part of the data later, and it all gets merged. Um, REST APIs um, is a standard way of sending data to similarity, but if you, you know, we work with banks where typically there's an enterprise bus, there is a Kafka queue, or there is an MQ instance, we'll pull data out of that instance, so you don't have to do a lot of massaging, and then we'll make sure we run our models on anomaly on top of, top of that. Um, lastly, enterprise friendly. Uh, so we provide, again, what we showed as part of the uh, uh, workbench is just a small aspect, uh, happy to go in more detail, but our customers love our, our workbench. Um, um, you can do a lot of things that are typically required for an end-to-end -end fraud management platform. Um, SaaS, we, we have a SaaS products which are really um, you know, uh, friendly for many of the fintech com companies. Uh, but for bigger banks, we also have our on-prem deployment, uh, and we have virtual private cloud, public cloud, uh, either of those. Um, we have PCI compliant, uh, easy onboarding, uh, dockerized all of our modules, so it's very easy to go up and running. Uh, lastly, we are single tenant and multi-tenant, so many, many of our bigger partners really use a multi-tenant environment to work with multiple of their sub-departments uh, or their uh, partners as, as well. So we support uh, partnerships and white labeling out of the box uh, as well. Um, integration on our website, you can, you know, uh, on front end, it's like a two-line JavaScript snippet, and we are we partner with many tag managers, so it's just click of a button. Uh, for Android, iOS, it's an SDK library. 
Uh, on backend, you send any ad hoc even streams, again, REST API, where you identify the message, and, we, and the payload could be any JSON, unstructured, or structured uh, message. Um, yeah, this is uh, fintech fraud in a nutshell, anywhere from ATOs, ACH, bots, uh, AML, and, and so on, and we, we support all of these, these modules. So we are on time. Um, yeah, this is our uh, uh, platform in a nutshell, but open to questions. Uh, do you have proven success stories with real fraud detection? Uh, <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, so we have um, big, so we are US based, we are in Palo Alto, uh, we are a little over three years old. Um, myself and Ravi, we uh, come from Google and we did a lot of fraud management there as well. Uh, but we have uh, big US banks based in US, we have a lot of uh, bigger e commerce retailers as well, a lot of uh, fintech companies. Uh, and um, happy to share case studies. Uh, you can have, see them in, in our, on our website uh, on, on many of these uh, specific workflow uh, fintech fraud problems. Uh, what are you using for intergraph, <laughs> interactive graph? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, even I'm not a, a front-end guy, but um, I believe we are using D3 uh, and, a, and a huge wrapper on top of it uh, that our guys have written uh, over the years. Uh, to make it uh, smooth and interactive. How configurable is this, and is this really a white box? Um, it, it is a white box. Uh, I'm assuming white box is opposite of, of, of black box. Uh, but that's one of the pain points. We always notice that you get a point solution which tells you a score of 0.39, and what does that mean? Um, so it's configurable to the extent on day one, you don't have to do anything. We configure it and we give you uh, the entire stack. Uh, but uh, if your uh, enterprise f finds a need to actually go in and tune, tune something using the workbench, it's fully open and fully configurable. We'll tell you to the, down to the detail why this particular case was triggered based on the ML model, but the features behind it. Uh, so it is configurable. Uh, you don't have to, and it is white box. Uh, are you primarily analyzing web app traffic and other domains where you are using this? Yes, uh, we analyze uh, web traffic when our, our JavaScript is enabled, uh, and we also analyze the backend event streams that are coming into our, our, our backend. Uh, cool, so right. thank you. Thank you very thank much. You.